In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Just a moment of silence as we prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Receive the grace that God offers to us in this sacred liturgy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. And you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, Grant that we who call upon you in our need, may your prompting and your teaching discern what is right, and by your guidance follow the way of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. A reading from the book, first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, during these years there will be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here. Go east and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help, help is from, from the Lord, Lord who made heaven, heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains, Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help, Our help is from, from the Lord, Lord, who made heaven, heaven and earth. earth. He may not suffer your foot to slip. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, neither slumbers nor sleeps the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord, made in heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil, he will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading of the gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus saw the large crowd, so he went up to the mountainside. And then he sat down, and, and his disciples gathered around him. And he took the occasion to teach them. He said, how blessed are the poor in spirit, for the reign of God is theirs. And blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. How blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice and for what is right, for one day they will be satisfied. How blessed are the merciful, mercy will be theirs. And how blessed are the single-hearted, for they will see God. And the peacemakers, they'll be blessed because they'll be called children of God. And blessed are those persecuted for the sake of holiness. The kingdom of God is theirs. And blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of slander against you because of me. You should rejoice and be glad for your reward in heaven will be great. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, one of uh, many people's favorite readings in the scriptures, the Beatitudes, it's a wonderful way of life. It would be amazing, wouldn't it, if uh, people who whatever, disagree or can't agree on anything, before they decided to have a conversation, would sit down and read this and discuss it. I wonder how quickly maybe their differences would, would dissolve. So I decided today that I would just take one of this, one of these Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the reign of God is theirs. I wonder how you understand that. What does that mean for you? I asked myself that question. So I think when I read that and meditated on it, I thought about a chapter in Micah, and I think it's chapter 6, the Old Testament, the prophet Micah. And people were saying, we want to, uh, we want to, uh, we want to do something, oh God, that would appease, uh, appease you because of our sins. They came up with all kinds of ideas, and he said, it's not that difficult. Micah, through God, God through Micah said, he said, to love goodness or justice and to do what is right, and he said, to walk humbly with your God. So I think the first part of this, the poor in spirit, is those who walk humbly before God, not pretending or not having a pretense that they deserve but basically we approach God with gratitude, humbly walking before our God. I think the other side of that coin, I think would be this, that we never think of ourselves as superior to someone else. Now, if I were Bobby Wood, I probably would be that temptation. But we look at ourselves not as someone superior or in judgment of others but you see, just see ourselves as someone walking with others in the spirit of humility with our God. Let us pray. Lord, grant, grant peace in all parts of the world, especially, Lord, at the end of this disastrous war in, in Palestine, we pray to the Lord. For God's blessings upon all those who serve the poor, and who care for the needy and for the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The blessings of those who are homebound or confined to their homes or those in the hospital for healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Lord to bless young couples as they prepare their life in the gift of marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Lord bless us. Uh, all of the, our diocese, our bishop, that you may continue to 
Reflect the image of the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for my brother Bill's mass intention today and for all of our loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, you are loving and gracious. Bless us that what we ask in faith we may indeed receive through Christ our Lord. earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that our offered our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church from your priestly hands as well. Lord our God, we bring to you the gifts of bread and wine in memory of your Son and at his command. And with these gifts, we offer to you the gift of our lives today and ask your blessings upon our offering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right always and everywhere to thank you, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your Son, Jesus. For by his birth, he brought renewal to, him, all of, to all of humanity. By his suffering, he canceled out our sins. Rising from the dead, he opened the ways for all of us to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O God, he unlocked the gates of heaven. In gratitude and with joy, we give you praise and honor once again as we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, you are holy indeed, and from the very beginning of the world, your constant work that we may become holy as you are holy. Humbly we pray now that you look down upon the offerings of your people gathered here before you. Send forth the power of your Holy Spirit upon these gifts. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we become your sons and daughters. When we were lost and could not, even though we were lost and could not find the way to you, you loved us more than ever. Jesus, your son, is and without sin. Stretched his hand himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. As he stretched out his arms between heaven and earth, he, he established the everlasting sign of your covenant. And he decided to celebrate the Paschal feast with his disciples and friends. While they were at the supper, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He blessed the wine, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you, drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, it will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. We proclaim now the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of your son, Jesus Christ, our Passover, and our lasting feast. We celebrate his death and resurrection and look forward to his coming again as we offer your faithful and loving God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the whole human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself in the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we who receive this one bread and this one cup may be gathered to the one body of Christ healed of all division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart with our Holy Father, Francis, our Bishop James, and all who minister in the church. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until that hour we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with Joseph and all the saints, and our departed brothers and sisters, and we commend your mercy. Then free from every shadow of death, we will take our place in the new creation. We will give you praise and we will give you thanks. In Christ the risen Lord. And our prayer we offer. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we humbly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from needless anxieties. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. The Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, who give to them the gift of peace, but not on our sins, but the faith we express. Grant to us the peace and unity of your kingdom, we live forever and ever. Amen. Peace, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May we offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. As this reception of, our, of your Holy Communion, O Lord, it foreshadows the union of the faithful in you. May it bring about unity in our church and in our midst. Through us we pray, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day.